got good news. I uh, sold out all of my wood. You see back here is where my huge wood pile was. I was at the end of August. I was piled up all the way to that, uh, to the barn out there. And then I had this thing full. I had like two or three rows around there. So I, I I'm gonna show a video right now of all the wood that I had previously because it really is unbelievable to think it's just February and I'm already sold out. Somebody's coming to pick up that last row today. So I'm really excited because because I spent a lot of time doing this. I'm currently underneath the house that used to store all my wood here. Here it is under the uh, shelter and uh, it's pretty cool down here. It uh, definitely holds a lot of wood though and keeps it dry. That's why I've always sorted down here. I got, like I said, I have one row left and here's where the uh, coons were living. You know, I had all this full in like August. And all the way out there. So, this is a raw the guys coming to pick up today. So, here's the back side. It's also empty. Like I said, in a previous video not too long ago this is the stuff i sold first because my truck's only two wheel drive and it is hard to get back here now you're you have a view behind me and that's where the oil pump is that's where that big pile was along that oil wheel drive you can hardly see the oil pump right now but it is back there it's, that's where i had a big pile about probably 15 cords in a big pile back there um, and then I had a big pile right over there too as you can see all my wood chips this was another storage place that I stored a lot of wood and there is a lot of wood chips down in here too like that like that and like I said I really am happy I'm out because the reason I cut wood, well, I there are there's a few reasons, but you know it's good physical therapy first of all. But I would say the main reason is to make money, and uh, when I'm sold out, that means I have made the money that I uh, because I sold it, and that's why I cut it to make money. The main that's the main reason I cut it is to make money, so. I sold all my wood, I made the money that I need to, and I feel like it's a good thing to do because it's something anybody can, well, anybody who has means to wood can do it. Obviously for the amount of time you put in it, you don't make like what you would at a job, but it's a nice thing to do, like if you get laid off or like after work, like you can just go cut wood whenever you please if you have the woods around. 
and I did. So that's what I did. And I've done it for like seven years now. And it's been a great thing to do. And obviously this past year, this past summer, I had a lot more time than I would I did previously because I uh, didn't have a job over the summer. But like I said, I've got one now, and I don't know if I'll do it last summer. I guarantee you I won't have as much as I did this year. You never know. I always say that. I, I basically, for the past three years, I've said, this is probably going to be my last year cutting wood. And then the next year I cut more. But I'm almost 99% sure I'm not going to cut as much as I did this year. But looking back on it, I mean, it was a lot of work, but I am glad I did it because it really does make you appreciate the uh, the value of hard work. Cut, the thing cutting wood does, it really makes you value the time that is invested in money that can be invested. So I think it makes you a little more cautious the way you spend your money because when you, when you spend... Um, I, don't, I would say I spent at least 14 hours cutting a truckload and splitting and delivering and stacking and doing everything that's involved with selling and cutting a truckload. And okay, I generally make 80 bucks, but then some of it goes into gas. So we'll say I make 70 bucks profit for a truckload of wood and I spent 14 hours. So I mean, it, it really makes you appreciate the um, value in hard work because there definitely is a value and I appreciate every blue collar worker who goes out and works these undesir very undesirable jobs and does hardly, hardly makes anything and this is one of the things that really makes me appreciate that.